Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a quick product review. Um, I am on my webcam because my camera battery just died. And lately I've been trying to do product reviews on moisturizers and um, cleansers, but of course it takes a while for me to use the whole thing, so it's been a little while since I've done one. Today I'm going to be doing a product review on Rodan and Phil's Proactive Solution Green Tea Moisturizer. It's a non comedogenic soothes and calms dry skin and it's an oil free formula. Um, as usual, I like to use uh, the whole product before I give a review so I can give an accurate review. I might have left a little bit left in here to, yeah, kind of show you guys the consistency. Sorry for the weird noises that it makes. Um, here's the consistency of the moisturizer and it goes on really smoothly. It's more like maybe a gel um, formula than a cream moisturizer. Um, it has a clean smell. It's one. It's definitely wouldn't say that's fragranted. I don't see any fragrance in here, but it doesn't say um, fragrance free. It has a clean smell. It's nothing harsh. It's a very light moisturizer. Uh, like I said, it's more like a gel. Um, I really like this. For summertime, my face gets really, really oily. My makeup kind of melts. So I really like that for this for the summer because it does not um, leave your face feeling over moisturized or doesn't leave me feeling kind of like oily afterwards. Um, because of the humidity, I didn't feel like it's going to kind of melt off of me. It's very, very light, which I think is great for people with oily skin. But for myself in the winter time, I don't think this would be strong enough just by itself. My skin does tend to get more dry in the winter time, and I don't think that this is moisturizing en enough. Um, but I do think it's a good summer um, moisturizer, like I said. Um, don't really know what um, else to say. I can read the directions, apply the face daily or as needed for moisture, maybe worn over the repairing treatment. So, of course, it's part of the proactive line. Um, I would say definitely if you have really oily skin you should get this. I um, don't um, have any opposition of this product. Um, it's just, not, I don't know if I would buy it again just because um, other than like little kiosks I would have to order it. Um, and I do like, I don't know, I kind of like a little thicker even in the summertime. I just kind of like my face to feel really, really, really moisturized, even if it's a bit heavy for the summertime. Um, and it doesn't have any SPF in it, and I'm trying to kind of do the two steps in one uh, for the summertime instead of doing a sunscreen and a moisturizer. But other than that, I would say if you have oily skin, you have acne-prone skin, you should probably pick this up. It's a really good product. And... That's it for that. The only other thing I'm going to do a quick, quick uh, review on, uh, because it's not really worth doing a whole video for, is this face laser. It's a gentle hair remover for the face. I have really sensitive skin, so uh, my sister gave me this. It works like once or twice. I don't know if the hair on my face has gotten stronger. I have yet since actually um, uh, switched to waxing my face, my little the mustache that I have. Um, but yeah, it says do not leave on for more than 10 minutes. Yeah, do not exceed 10 minutes. I have really sensitive skin, so I definitely did not exceed 10 minutes, but I still had hair. It's like little hairs, and for something that smells this bad, if sitting on my face for 10 minutes was not worth it. There's still a lot of product in there, and I'm actually going to throw it out, which I think is really a testament to the fact that this no longer works, or d never did work. I mean, it worked a little, but I, I'm i like the queen of not wasting something, and it's just not even worth my time to put this on my face and then have to wax, or I don't know. But this is a no. So if you see this laser face, I'm not sure how much it is. I'm not even sure where you can get it. I've never even heard of this before. Uh, just... Maybe it'll work for you, but I think maybe my um, 
facial hair might be a little too strong for it. Uh, I can show you the consistency. Oops, sorry. I'm not going to put it on my hand because, like most um, cream stuff, it smells. But there's the consistency. It's just like any other hair removal. I just am very satisfied with that. But that's it for today. I will um, talk to you guys later. And I do have other cleansers and moisturizer reviews coming. Bye-bye.